likely going to face find somebody during this interview. <laughs> Playing in the background. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the angels! Now we have to keep our 
for ourselves, that's what we thought. But now she's been so busy doing other things recently, and she's hot, hot stuff. Hot stuff right now. Not too shabby, ladies. This is a pretty good life we can encourage to be a part of. Um, when you, you're brought onto a show like this, I mean, there's, there's already this uh, attention and, and popularity to it, but again, dealing with the, the kind of content you get, is there, a, is there ever any reservation? Because even like shows that are spinning off that are even more terrible, you can screen at gas. Talks about the fact, you know, they're talking with safety in some of these episodes, and they're evoking these things. Is there ever any kind of on the outside, just kind of a sense of, oh, this is a little weird. It, it, it's only just dawning on you now. Oops. What kind of Well, what, my answer to that question is usually like, how do you think I got the job? Because <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jared says, well, like you're, you're reading off some Latin incantation, and uh, one time I was, Jensen's directing, and it's the scene where I blast three witches into oblivion, and they pop, pop, pop. Um, and uh, I was saying my incantations, you know, to do the scene, and they had these fire, uh, four uh, what, drums of fire, and the drums of fire started to go, <laughs> because the metal started to groan, and Jensen's like, can you just stop? <laughs> 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 can you just sort of calm down? But, uh, yeah, one of the places we do work is haunted. We were talking about this only yesterday, uh, Kim and I were talking about this. There's an, a, an old asylum that we film in that feels a bit weird. Can you say which one? Uh, I, the name's gonna, my, I, can, I can see it, I could drive you to it, it's quite <laughs> uh, It's just covered in snow when I, whenever I've been there. And last time I was there, I kid you not, I was sitting in the, the hair and makeup trailer and my phone, mem my phone started wiping itself. I lost all my voicemails. Everything started everything wiped off of my phone. And last time I was there. And that was before to be told we thought it was hot home. It wanted a spooky at this time. I am not feeling no longer now, Kim. Just in front of my hands. I was in that building too. Nobody talks to me. <laughs> Nobody tried to use my phone. Well, that's, that's got to be a little alarming to, to see something like that. Matt Ryan was stuck there talking to us about Constantine and that the fact they had experts that worked on the show and they would actually do clearing ceremonies on him and prayers before and after episodes. Have you guys ever had any of that? Or did they just kind of leave you to your own demonic devices after the show's over? No, but I, I, we're, we're both very um, tuned in, tapped in, put tuned to the moon, sometimes I say. Um, I energetically take care of myself. Um, you know, I, I, I believe in energy, and um, yeah, I have a, have a witchy with the nice thing you check that I'm going to be sexing me. <laughs> I'm on my mood right now, so don't you do it. <laughs> I see what blood in your eyes are. Um, <laughs> what you? Yeah, I mean, just depending on the character, I actually have a little ritual that gets me in and out of a role so that I'm not having those characters carry into my everyday life. How many people are just wondering what she does to get into the head of death? <laughs> does, her, does her husband, like, call on those days and hide? Honey, I'm gonna get ready for both. See you later. Honey, do you? He's right back there. Um, but no, I mean, for me, death is one of my favorite characters to play just because she is the epitome for me of grounded stillness. And so to get into that character, I mean, I really just chill out. Because I mean, that's the thing with power, right? Like when you're angry at somebody, it's so much more menacing when someone's like, it's okay. I'm disappointed, but it's okay. <laughs> I'm calmly furious. See you soon. You know what I mean? Versus I'm disappointed and I can't believe, you know, it's just a different kind of energy. So she's so chill in her power bed. It's actually easy. Did <laughs> you hear that girl's daddy's channel in death for now? <laughs> All right, we've got a uh, microphone over here. If you have questions, feel free to come on up and be a part of the show with us. Wow, perfect. Look at you. All right, welcome to the show. What would you like to talk about? What's your name? Where are you from? What do you want? <laughs> Um, 
I mean, we all know that Jensen and Jared are goofballs. So, what's the longest scene that you've done? Because you guys, because they either can behave themselves and just goofed around. How long does it take? <laughs> That's really, really easy for me to answer right now. So, you go to my Twitter page right now, my Facebook page. We just posted it yesterday, the shaving people hunting things. There's, that's not even the whole thing that they were filmed. That's edited. We're doing the scene where I'm doing, I'm trying to do some, I'm, I'm looking at Jack to see what's wrong with him and trying to heal him. And um, Jared goes off in a riff and just keeps going and keeps going and keeps going. Some of the footage has to be edited out because you just couldn't put it out publicly. And <laughs> Misha's laughing and Jensen's laughing and the director's like, just see your lines. <laughs> that whole episode at about half past one in the morning and by the end of it I turned around and I smiled during the scene I smiled at, at, at um, Jack Al Cal and I smiled at um, Azarina and he went he stops the scene and he goes nothing to <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to, 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 to mess around I just, and it was honestly I'm amazed at the episode I'm amazed that the episode was the right length of time and I had to put extra commercials in because most of the filming was just them having a carry on. But the people were coming off this train. Everyone's hanging on back for right now. It's, yeah, I mean, yeah, they are so naughty. <laughs> Thank you. Ghosts don't want to play pranks on me. Don't want Jensen go on. I'm going to start taking it personally. <laughs> I really am. I got no stories, nothing. It's a sign of respect. <laughs> Maybe you need to pull a prank on them to just bring me out. No, I think I'd be like the perfect like Trojan horse prank. Yeah, they never see it coming. Yeah, they never see it coming. I tried to do one. It took me three seasons to get brave enough to try and do it, and it's very last scene of the last the episode of the last of the season. And um, I had to walk in, so the camera's on my shoulder, so you can't see in front of me. So I was holding um, a big bottle of lube, uh, which, <laughs> which is what they use for holy water. We've got a lot of lube on set. <laughs> and I walk in, so Jason and Jared, we should turn around and look at me. Doesn't phase him whatsoever. Nobody laughs. And I just feel like a plonker. And uh, the Misha rescued it, and he went over the roof, and he just picked me up and carried me off the loop, so he saved it. He saved the guy. He made my unfunny uh, joke funny. Bless you. Bless you. Show brainstorms and stuff. Do it. Let's do it. Thank you very much. I want to leave with lube. Don't leave with lube. That's a good rule for everybody. Oh, yes. Hi. What is your favorite moment from being on Supernatural? For me, that's I, it's, my intro scene will always be my favorite scene because I got to sing and I got to act and I got to be on Supernatural for the first time and I got to work with Jared and you know it was just wins all the way down. So that's my favorite. I think my favorite moment is going to be January, something I'm filming in January. Thank you for your question. Hi, what's your name? from what you want? Um, my name is Carly. I'm uh, 17. I'm from Asa. I was wondering if you could play any other character who would be and why? Because she's powerful <laughs> and looks great. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm supernatural. Yeah. You don't have to choose me. There's a lot of things over here. No, 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 no. I'm just, I mean, I, I sometimes go with Sam just to see what the world looks like from up there. Because I want to know. I think Lucifer would be pretty freaking awesome. That would be pretty awesome. Just play Lucifer. You'd be great as Lucifer. Yeah. If I was to answer as Rowena, I would say Rowena. <laughs> Who else would you want to play? Like, I would be really I think I think Jeff would say the same thing. She's yeah, like, she, I don't know how you can talk deaf. Exactly. Yeah, it's like ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we can get like a Freaky Friday episode where you can swap for the episode, right? Comes in with comments. Ooh, God, that was a good one. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
I'm sorry she has set the rules. Name, where are you from? Thank you. My name is Sydney. I'm from Missouri. Um, I have a question about the Girl, you know I got nothing. I gave her a children in the audience and was involved in loops. I don't know if I can. You have to genuinely let me know the tone if I can continue. Okay. So, I got nothing. I got nothing. Okay. So, I, both Lisa and I come from a theatre background, and uh, we have a theatre discipline, which the boys will not be, they have no concept. <laughs> I say that a lot. No, they, they're, they're, they're amazing. They're, they're so technically adept, and you know, they're directors, you know, they can direct, they can direct any scene that we're shooting, they're amazing. So, anyway, we're doing the scene, the interrogation scene, we're having handcuffs, and um, Giles got my, my, Sam's got my big bag of stuff, and pulling it with the dam, and, and they're interrogating me, and um, Jared has to walk towards me with the book and whatever else he's got in his hand. And I'm doing the scene, and I don't stop, I don't cut no matter what. Like, that's just my, I just go, I just, nothing will make me cut. And um, so he's walking towards me, and I'm seeing he's got like a, to the children covering the ears. <laughs> so he's giant strap on them. <laughs> He's walking towards me, like talking to me, and I just finished, just finished the scene. You know, I just, like, I just couldn't let it in. I just couldn't. And like, part of the thing is, like, when you're more relaxed and you're more confident, when you're further down the line, is like you, you take it in and you include it in, in, in the scene and you, you run with it. And like, I should, I should just stop mentioning that you're taking it in. <laughs> 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 Thank you. 